The Spanish Foreign Minister José Manuel Álvarez has called for airport sharing to be included in the planned EU-UK agreement on the British Overseas Territory of Gibraltar. Brussels and London are currently negotiating what to do with the area bordering Spain after Brexit. The delicate discussions on this are to continue this week. From Albara's point of view, the status of the airport in Gibraltar must also be discussed. What sense would it make to leave out an element as useful to the population as the airport? I think it is a step forward that flights can come from Spanish airports and from, from other European countries to promote tourism and relations. That's how the Social Democrat Foreign Minister argued in an interview with the newspaper El País, published on Sunday. Although everything related to Brexit is complex, he is confident that Madrid and London will find a satisfactory solution. It would be absurd if Spanish and other European airlines could not use the airport, said Albaris. At the end of November, Albaris met with his British counterpart David Cameron. The two discussed the most sensitive issues of a future agreement and emphasized the need to find an agreement as quickly as possible, or at least before the EU elections next year. So there is a dispute between Spain and Gibraltar over the shared use of the airport. And Spain has long claimed that Gibraltar is its rightful territory and that the airport is an integral part of its national aviation network. Gibraltar, on the other hand, has always maintained that it is a self-governing British overseas territory and that the airport is under its exclusive control. And the dispute over the airport has now flared up again, with Spain demanding that Gibraltar allow Spanish airlines to operate flights to and from the airport. Gibraltar has refused, arguing that this would be a violation of its sovereignty. And the dispute has escalated to the point where Spain has threatened to take legal action against Gibraltar even. The dispute over the airport is a complex and sensitive issue with deep historical roots. It is unlikely to be resolved quickly or easily, I'm, I'm honest, but uh, it is important to find a solution that respects the rights and interests of both Spain and Gibraltar. Gibraltar has been a British overseas territory since 1713 when it was ceded to Britain by Spain under the Treaty of Utrecht. And Spain has never accepted this session and has always claimed that Gibraltar is its rightful territory. The Gibraltar International Airport is the only airport on the Rock of Gibraltar. It is a small airport that serves mainly as a regional hub for Gibraltar and Spain. And as I said, Spain has demanded that Gibraltar allow Spanish airlines to operate flights to and from the airport. It has also demanded that Gibraltar share the proceeds of airport taxes with Spain. Gibraltar has refused to allow Spanish airlines to operate flights to and from the airport, and it has also refused to share the proceeds of airport taxes with Spain. Gibraltar has argued that these demands are a violation of its sovereignty, as I said. But Spain has threatened to take legal action, as I said, in the International Court of Justice. Spain has argued that Gibraltar is obliged to comply with its obligations under the Treaty of Utrecht, which includes allowing Spanish airlines to operate flights to and from the airport. The dispute over the airport is a reminder of the long-standing tensions between Spain and Gibraltar. And it is an issue that will need to be resolved if there is to be any lasting peace in the region, so to speak. The United Kingdom's exit from the European Union, well known as Brexit, has exacerbated the long-standing dispute between Spain and Gibraltar over the shared use of the airport. The UK's departure from the EU removed Gibraltar from the single market and the customs union, which has made it more difficult for the territory to operate its airport as it once did. Prior to Brexit, Gibraltar could freely trade with the rest of the EU and its airport could benefit from the EU's open skies policy. This meant that Gibraltar's airport was well connected to European destinations and that it could compete effectively for airline traffic. 
However, as a result of Brexit, Gibraltar is now outside the single market and the customs union. And this means that the territory is subject to tariffs and customs checks on goods that are imported or exported from the EU. And this has made it more difficult and expensive for airlines to operate in and out of Gibraltar. And it has also reduced the number of destinations that are pos accessible from the airport. In addition, Brexit has made it more difficult for Gibraltar to negotiate new air agreements with other countries. And as a result, the territory is now reliant on the UK government to negotiate air agreements on its behalf. And this has given Spain more leverage in its negotiations with the UK over the future of the Gibraltar airport. Spain has seized the opportunity presented by Brexit to increase its pressure on Gibraltar to accept its demands for shared use of the airport. And the Spanish government has argued that Gibraltar is now a third country as a result of Brexit and that it should therefore be subject to EU aviation rules. This would mean that Gibraltar would be obliged to allow Spanish airlines to operate flights to and from the airport. And as I already said, Spain has threatened to take legal action against Gibraltar in the International Court of Justice if the territory does not comply with its demands. Gibraltar has often strongly resisted Spain's demands and uh, sovereignty is a word we, we've heard in Brexit for a long time. G the Gibraltar government has said that it is willing to negotiate with Spain over the future of the airport, but only on the basis that Gibraltar retains full control over its own airspace. The dispute over the Gibraltar airport is likely to continue for some time and both Spain and Gibraltar are unlikely to back down from their positions and there is no easy solution to the dispute. The UK government is caught in the middle and is struggling to find a way to resolve the issue without alienating either the EU or Gibraltar. However, it's important to find a solution that respects the rights and interests of both Spain and Gibraltar. The dispute over the airport is a complex and sensitive issue, but it is not insurmountable. With goodwill and compromise on both sides, it is possible to find a solution that will allow both Spain and Gibraltar to coexist peacefully. The Rock of Gibraltar, a limestone promontory at the southern tip of Spain, has long been a strategically important location controlling the narrow strait separating the Mediterranean Sea from the Atlantic Ocean. Its strategic value was recognized by various civilizations throughout history, including the Phoenicians, the Carthaginians, uh, Carthaginians okay, the Romans and the Moors. And in 1462, the Moorish occupation of Gibraltar was permanently ended by the Spanish and Isabella I annexed Gibraltar to Spain in 1501. The town served as a vital naval base for the Spanish Empire, providing access to the Mediterranean and control over the trade routes between Europe and Asia. The War of the Spanish Succession from 1701 to 1714 was a conflict over the succession of, to the Spanish throne. Britain allied with France and Austria against Spain and the war saw fierce fighting in Gibraltar. In 1704, during the war, a British fleet commanded by Sir George Rook captured Gibraltar from the Spanish. The British were able to hold on to the rock despite several attempts by the Spanish to recapture it. At the end of the war, the Treaty of Utrecht formally ceded Gibraltar to Britain. The treaty stipulated that Gibraltar would be held by Britain forever without any exception or limitation. Spain has never accepted British rule over Gibraltar and there have been numerous attempts to regain the territory. The most recent attempt was the 12th siege of Gibraltar in 1779-83, to which was unsuccessful. And today Gibraltar is a British overseas territory with its own government and parliament. It is a British crown dependency, meaning that it is not part of the United Kingdom, but is controlled by the British monarch. Spain continues to claim Gibraltar as its own territory and the issue is a source of tensions between the two countries. However, the people of Gibraltar overwhelmingly support the current status quo 
and there is no indication that Britain will relinquish control of the of the rock. But the same population overwhelmingly voted to remain a part of the EU in the referendum in 2016. And that was once again a lot of politics, but if you want to get away from politics, on the banner up there you always have a chance to get to a completely different topic if you like. But if you want some more politics, the next video is right here on the end screen. I'll see you there. I'll be back.